we are young, we are the most desired by evil, for we are the most powerful. We full of love. Being so young, yo, full of positive energy, so strong, we find ourselves amidst the most awesome struggle. The struggle is for the possession of our souls, the possession of our spirits, the possession of our minds. Some of us are taken in without ever knowing what happened to their power or their love. But there are those who instinctively wage war, a spiritual war, a physical war. Some of us fight for our spirit and our mind no matter what the cost, whether it be temporal satisfaction, economic comfort, or even our lives. These are the warriors, the freedom fighters, if you will, those who engage in the holy jihad, the struggle within. Yo, can I holler at you a second? It's black and cloudy Just to see Show you something that's on my mind My children sing with laughter Will you walk with me? And run the earth at play First off, this is abstract Daydreaming for one moment thought process through space i free my mind searching for a sporadic cohesion reasons of our lives the soul are the thoughts of us all and understand yo i need your empathy a collective of the soul. This is the mind of an African. Don't judge me. Just walk with me. As if my rest is made of hot coals. I toss and turn and I roam through the streets of this land Turning moans into songs Watching cries turn into poems I used to see
my children sing with laughter. What does jihad mean to you? Jihad to me, you know, is your mission in life. Of course, you know, it's a, the actual mean is, you know, a holy war that you own or whatever. But to me, it's your mission in life, you know what I'm saying? And, and what you are out to accomplish, you know, and it's... And if you use the term jihad, then automatically it has to be on a spiritual level. You know what I'm saying? It's, it has to be on a spiritual level. It's, it's your battle within the spiritual world. It's your growing of age and realizing that, you know, whatever's physical doesn't even really matter anymore because you're trying to build your spirit. Since we are fighting for our spirit in your mind, you're trying to build your spirit to be on that level where you really want to be. You know what I'm saying? And that's what jihad means to me. What jihad is basically what it is in reality is basically Genetically, we basically trying to get back to zero. Zero is one. Because zero represents nothing and nothing represents the all. I need to unloose this noose and at the same time, I feel like I need to tighten up. My burden is overbearing, the pressure's intense. I'm looking for my load to lighten up. And I just might consider checking out of this heartbreak hotel for good. I mean, no more living in hell and mis being misunderstood. I know for a fact, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that this world is trying to trick me and eventually turn me out and make me into some type of pseudo-conforming jigger whore. The way you need to be professional and the way you need to be as, as an architect or whatever your respective major was, and that's bullshit. It's all the way they want you to be. The way they want you to act. You know, you want to be a hokey nigga, and God forbid you be your own fucking person. God forbid you do that. Because then they treat you like shit. I'm here today because I worked hard, not because they handed me anything. If, if you can't go through me for anything, then you don't need to be here because this is where I stay. This is what I got to deal with. If you go wrong, they coming to me because I hired you. See, they, it ain't like they, they want me to hire more blacks in here. They only want me here because they can deal with only one. I'm going to be on your neck till, till you start sweating. When you come to work, you're going to be sweating because you know you got to do a good job because I'm going to be on They might not even look twice at you. Some days they don't even know I'm here. The only time they know I'm here is because I eat lunch with them. And I'm trying to get a free lunch, you know what I mean? I got to get a free lunch every now and then because they take you to the good restaurants. I can't afford half of them. We down in downtown, Clayton, you know, Clayton, expensive, man, houses, $200,000, $300,000. I'm staying all the way in the county, man, no county. I don't mean to offend you, man, but you got to leave that hood, ghetto stuff, man, gold teeth. Man, you ain't going to see no one with gold teeth up here. You going to see some beautiful white women. You going to see some successful black women, man. You, you got to you gotta take the take yourself out of the ghetto, man. You only going to be here for eight hours. I, I understand you can. You should be able to do that. You've probably done it once or twice, you know, but you got to leave that hood alone. Yeah, I know, but I just want to. Just what you mean? You just want to. Just... Come on. This, this is hard. I promise I can do a job. Just give me a shot. Just give me a shot. Yeah, I'm going to give you that shot. That shot is going to be your last shot. Last year, they took us to a hockey game. You know brothers don't play no hockey, but man, I was happy. They you know, in the big booths where they had the, uh, where they had the banquets and all that type. Man, we was up in there and they fed us like fat cats. Right. Man, shrimps, lobsters, all that steak, man. I was, boy, I was, I was full, man. But see, man, it's, it's, yeah, lunchtime, man, it ain't good with them. Because they would buy you lunch, man. When they buy you lunch, it ain't at no White Castles or McDonald's. They take you down, downtown Clayton. Man, Portobello's, nice, nice restaurant. Wine, candlelight and all that, man. You know, every once in a while you go around to with the good managers, they'll let you drink, you know. You can't get too drunk, but you know, she, you know. Just, you know, I, I'll introduce you to one and let you do that, but you know.
all honesty, I probably only would do this for a while because I really stand for the liberation of my people and this is just like a step. I'm not going to be able to do whatever it is that you do to dance to the tune of these people because that's not what I'm about. Um, I'm going to come up in here, do my job, and get the hell out of here. You know, I ain't trying to be friends with nobody, go to lunch with nobody, you know, uh, go play tennis with them afterwards. You know, I'm, I'm it's, that's not me, you know, so for real, man. expects me to be like, but I can't be like that. So, you actually believe the stuff that they are feeding you? I mean, they don't really care about you. They don't care about you no more than they care about me. I ain't trying to hear whatever you're talking about, because for real, you used to step and fetch it as nigga for real. And everybody that looked like you was the same way as far as I'm concerned. Nigga? I ain't no nigga. <laughs> nigga, I, I worked hard just like you. But I know I got to smile, you know? Smile when I come to work. <laughs> you the only one using nigga. I ain't call you no nigga. What's wrong with you? Yeah, but for real, man, you ain't even one of me. You like, you you're like one of them. You're what, not, you're we, not... we got the same color. What you mean I'm not one of you? No, I'm talking about internally, man. You're not black, for real. You may look black, but you're not black, man. You know I, don't, what I'm saying? I don't know. You're not, I, you're not I like don't this. understand. We, we, we don't, we're not clicking here. I, I thought I had a chance to bring another brother in. He talking about I'm a nigga. No, man, you don't understand. I, it ain't why what I understand. You're supposed to understand me because you're trying to get the job through hold me. Up, hold up, man, for real. You don't need to be getting all like that. Uh, so, hold on. You, know you, you in my company. This is the company that I worked in. And you, you calling me a nigga? Oh, come on now. I'm, I'm as black, I'm blacker than you. What you talking about? <laughs> I'm not black internally. Internally, I'm making money. That's all I'm thinking about when I'm here <laughs> is making money. <laughs> Which you don't want to make no money? You don't want to be successful? <laughs> huh? Like I said, man. I ain't finna dance to these motherfuckers' tunes. I ain't finna be up in here playing no role and shit and all that. You know, I'm I'm me. I'm me. And I ain't gonna never be nobody but me. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, what like it or not, this this is how it is, like I ain't uh, trying to change, man. I was gonna try to hire you, but since you can't sing and dance to my tune. Man, hold up, man. I mean This damn. is my tune. You know, I, this is my stage and I'm trying to put you on. And you don't want to sing and dance. So, uh, this resume, you know, you ain't supposed to be doing this, but I, I, I we'll, we'll see, you know, uh, we'll finish this interview. I'll walk you around, do the normal stuff, but this is the last time you're going to be in here, nigga. You know? Man, I don't give a fuck, man. For I real. bet you don't. You, you don't look Get like you want to make no money. Real, man. Well, why, 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 don't we just, why don't we just cut this interview short? You know what I'm saying? You you can go on out. You know your way, too. See, I, I'll talk to you later. i see you. Bye. Shit. You ain't gonna be here now. You gotta get yours, but don't do it by standing on the next brother's neck. And that's it. And and and, and, that, and that's where you need to see shit. That's where we all need to see shit. We all want in this man.
I want for the end. One foot out, like three jungles, serve his mouth. Talk the stone, words of water before progress. Let's come on a strange time. Take my hand, do for the end. We begin to the wilderness. In the wilderness. Life has no conscience. These beings are heartless, winds, moon, and rain, heard the news. I'm here and gone, yo. Life is strange, I would see brothers new. But I know they fight more truth. In the end, there's only yourself to blame. Don't man the struggle, you get what you give. See what I'm saying? When I'm past much contemplating, when it's come beyond the sun. Rain, storms, fancy clothes. One more line with the mind of one who paces back and forth. Spitting his proof in a small Kansas City room. His rage is my rage. This man is pace, I don't think they understand. What I think every day, my own holy war. Eternal scale, moon red. A wilderness of dread goes on my head. Look what we go through, this Christian slave, she hides in the day, blaze trails from hell, and the rat race, where the sun shines, yet the wind chillers below, when the winds blow, hard to maintain eye contact, from the glare of the sky, dramatic as Space niggas, space niggas, space niggas. Point in time, I felt like that, you know what I'm saying? I felt like, you know what I'm saying? It was it was the white man and, and all these, you know what I'm saying? The European didn't learn all this knowledge from us, you know what I'm saying? Right. Which is, which is, it ain't true knowledge, it's trick knowledge. You know what I'm saying? They use trick knowledge in order to trick us, just oh, like trick knowledge. What's, what's trick knowledge? Trick knowledge, trick knowledge, trick knowledge is, is truth and falsehood mixed that together and, and put out you know, as the truth. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Give me an that's, example, guys. Trick knowledge is the government. Trick knowledge is the government because the government makes you think that they are for your best interest, but in reality, they are against you. The sense of fear, the, 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 the reality of fear itself is to get in your heart, pride around and find your vulnerabilities. You know what I'm saying? What are you afraid of? What irks you the most? What bothers you? What makes you so contempt that you, won't, you don't want to deal with this thing? Is it spiders? Is it snakes? Is it rats? Is it white people? Is it black people? Is it thievery? Is it murder? What? And it gets in the fear, gets in it, and it prods around and it finds those vulnerabilities. And then when it's, once it finds those vulnerabilities, it takes over. You gotta, you, and it ain't being a man, it's being personal enough. Getting in yourself, finding out what in the hell will make you conquer those fears. And the only way to conquer those fears is to stand that's face forward, look at them dead in the fucking eyes, eyes and say, I'm see, that's not what afraid. I'm talking about, shit like that, Joe. Why not, man? Come, 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 come on, 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 Tell me what, no, 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 no. Drink down no, tell me as long as we can ever believe, there has never been no motherfucker, it's always been black and white. They even got black and white on SATs, like I told you, they got motherfucker Hispanics, they got, damn, black, they got motherfucker African, they, you know what I'm saying, they even got Egypt's motherfucker signing in as white, you know what I'm saying, we out of fucking, we get along. Well, we can't even be as one cup. No, it's about the No, we can't say that. We can all sing together, but we can't talk together. You can't say that. We can all sing together, but we can't talk together. Dog, our people don't even acknowledge us, dog. For real, we should We supposed to be speaking motherfucking Swahili and Arabic. Some motherfucking motherfucking Arabians and shit can't even agree with that. And what if they did? If it was a fish, they black. They black. What are you talking about, dog? What are you talking about? Tell the brothers we can all sing together. We can't See, talk that's together. how they got you thinking. Yeah, they all black, black dog. Black country, well, what is black, dog? Black, black is black. Black is a peace. Is a being. It's a state of being. Black is that's what essence, I'm saying. Dog. Black is not As true. long as you've been you know living, dog, black you always have been born to think the first about devil, The first yeah. devil was a black man. That's what I'm telling you. No, the first, the first devil wasn't a white man. man. The first devil was the black man. The first man. Yeah. The struggle within the duality within the war that man engages with himself and his kin, those that reflect him, his reflection, so to speak, whether it be his queen or his fellow brother. How do I exhibit and show you these, these private wars with limited resources, limited amounts of time? Well, I go through it myself. My greatest agony is to show you these things, to exhibit to show this truth, the truth, to show my brothers in their most positive light, while at the same time, casting light down, or shining light down upon our hidden horrors, in an effort of sparking dialogue, or sparking calm communication, no matter what it is, no matter how we do it, as long as we communicate, that's what I find to be the most important thing. Sparking communication. Brothers need to speak more to each other. Come out of their heads.
the fact of where we came from That's and right. how we got her in this right. predicament in the first place. Right. But don't, don't stay in the same stagnant position of saying this is how it is and that is how it is. My black man, you right. got to change. You got to be more than right. the cause. You That's got right. to be the effect and the cause together. That's right. You got to be everything right. that you can be That's to right. be more than all of it. Because in reality, we supposed to be this planet. Yeah. That's right. You ain't got nobody. Right. You ain't supposed to That's have right. nobody. Right. You were spirit. That's right, the heavenly body. Right, you know right. We came to this planet for a reason, That's right. right? That's right. And we got to finish this reason. The more time we right. take on the bullshit of how it started and where it came from, nigga, we already know this. Don't dwell. We fur. Don't dwell. We got to move. We got to acknowledge, take that acknowledgement and decide upon that acknowledgement. Turn it into a stable datum and move forward. Hey, we filming over here, man. Oh, man. Get out your way. Yeah, unless you want to be on film. Tape. Oh, yeah. Immortalizing. Oh, yeah. Okay, what we going to call it? Immortalized. Immortalized. We we'll call it immortalized. Call it G-Lord and uh, it wheels. Prince of God. Okay, now how we going to look at it? Prince of God, what you say? Prince of God. Like, that I am, that I teach. Prince of God. Tell me about that. Oh, um, Jesus Christ. You know him? Keep going. My brother. I'm on this side. Keep going. God, my father. Look at me, living truth. Born and raised and bleed all up and down this place here. Right around. Like that, don't you? Twisted pools of liquid flowing in every direction, directed towards heaven, but there are no canoes shaped for my physique. The mystique leaves me shiftless and innocent bystander has become a witness to the 666 stamped into our foreheads. More heads are smitten through the James' version of revelation, of revelation, revelation, revolution to mind polluting strategies that are sprayed by the Uzis, taking up for the drive by, taking up for the drive by. Why cry when your nigga is dead? No more, no more. Captivity, just the pure tranquility of a free dome. Free dome, free dome, free dome. Not the right to feel dumb, but the right to move my black ass wherever I want to relocate my black urban family to. Free to have good ass credit. Free to have found a clue. Free to have a bank account that doesn't read insufficient funds. Free to have a bankroll that isn't full of funds. So go tell the master that your nigga is dead. Crack, got the mother on the back, turn the like this, and go relax, get some communication, sweet crack. Drunk so I want to say it alone with a crack, ain't going to some dance dollar, we'll be able to put some gold pay Back to back, get that, get that, relax, we make it up. Crack, real crack, hit him. I mean, the mean, as far as it's kept, I mean, the mean, uh, here we are, more light. Like that, 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 I mean, the mean, that, I mean, that, that. Hey, hit him. Crack, 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 Cause he's free, free to drive through wherever, whenever, in whatever, and not get flagged down by the popo. Free to move on up like the Jefferson's fast and not in slow mo. Free to have a career instead of a job, and you have to work your way up from the bottom as a janitor. Free to break these chains of a corporate whore. Planetary funk, planetary funk. Niggas pop they trunk, niggas slam dunk. Mapped out the lifestyle of a punk. Are you free? Hell no. Nah. Cause that nigga is still alive. That nigga still survives. Survives as a house nigga. Survives as a field nigga. Survives as a run quicker nigga. Survives as a malt liquor nigga. Survives as a six feet deep ditch digger nigga. Perpetrating like he's Jigger nigga. He's the nigga squeezing the trigger after other niggas to make himself feel bigger nigga. Yeah, that nigga is free. That nigga is free. Free to disrespect your woman. Free to not know nothing. Free to keep on fronting. Free to keep buying high price scar with the first slave ship imprinted into the heart of a nigga that claims he's still alive. Run, nigga, run, get a master high five if you want to stay alive. Did you take a nose dive into a piranha field pie? Hold your dick in hand like a magic wand. Niggas think they're dying, but life has just begun.
disappear, nigga. Come a little closer so the corrupt society you worship can spit and spit, spit in your ugly black face. Tarred and feathered, tarred and feathered. Give you four kids in a broken home. Give you four beards and a cell phone. Give you cafe and welfare. Give you food stamps and hood tramps. All to pacify your childish mind with a nigga's pacifier. Burn, nigga, burn, cause the master's house is on fire. Go ahead, tell them children playing in them ghetto playgrounds that your nigga is dead. Go ahead, tell them folks in that church worshiping a blonde haired blue eyed idol that your nigga is dead. Go ahead and tell those crips and blood showing love while smoking dubs that your nigga is dead. Go ahead and tell them pimps working a house on the master street corner that your nigga is dead. No more relaxed attitudes towards progression and simpleton acceptance of regression. No more fatherless children and hoarse women battling each other on this playing field of life. Refereed by your Uncle Tom and Aunt Jemima. Kinda like fighting the wrong battle at the wrong time with the wrong artillery. Shooting blanks, shooting blanks, shooting blanks. Yeah, that nigga was forced to walk the plank and jump his track and ass into a shark infested ocean of righteousness and our standards. Yeah, that nigga is dead. Killed by a melody contained race. That nigga is dead. Killed by the gods and goddesses who Recognize the potential they conceal in their pineal. That nigga is extinct. That nigga is extinct. That nigga is extinct. Because them black folks finally started to think. It's an everyday thing. Well, hell with my house in this ghetto. Everyday thing. Nigga law, nigga law in this ghetto. I'm going down, down, down. I'm gonna keep me going. Hmm, right on time. Look at me. Blow my own mind. Huh? Get high here. Over there, over there, over there, over there, and everywhere. It's for you to look down. Turn up your nose and frown. Now that you're on top, did the top. top. No way. I like that more lies on camera. You good, but I'm better. But you better, and I'm good. <laughs> Love you, baby. Give me a gangster boy way. Zimbabwe my way. way. Yeah. As long as y'all boo that. I mean, to me. Yeah. Most of our ancestors. For if they would not have been, then we would not be. To a true master, sitting on the throne is no different than sitting on dirt. When I hear the name Jihad, I naturally think of Holy War. We are all fighting the war within ourselves. There's an African proverb that says, if there is no enemy inside of us, the enemy outside of us can do us no harm. We have a real self and a false self. And unfortunately, a lot of us are dealing more with our false self. Continue to move forward, the righteous steps, continue freedom fighting, continue to spread the birds of Rastafari, continue to build on knowledge. He want every black man to take over the economic world. He want all of us to stay unified as one African nation. I mean, I ain't got nothing, man. You know what I'm saying? But I know I can make some out of nothing. See, I live that same lifestyle that everybody gonna live. You know what I'm saying? I got that. I did my thing dirty. You know what I'm saying? I did my thing dirty, and I see it ain't nothing in that, man. It's one being, for real, one race is on, on, on such, a, such a minor scale, man. I, I, I truly believe, I truly believe, man, that shit is, just, is built as, as a smoke screen. You know what I mean? To help the masses stay separate, you know what I'm saying? To help the masses stay separate, I swear, I swear it is. They, they, they say it's a melting pot and all that old kind of bullshit and they try and cover our eyes with that bullshit, but man, when you look at it on, on, that, on that scale, it's so minor, so minor, you know what I'm saying? I believe that everything and everybody in creation is connected in one way, shape or form. Everything is relative. I love the hood, you know what I'm saying? And it's the part of the hood I love, who I am. I'm lucky to be a descendant of a slave, man. Feel me? What does you know what Africa fit into this scope, man? Oh, that's, that's the origin. That's where we all come from. You know what I'm saying? That's the motherland. Mm -hmm. That's the motherland. That's where we spawn. Right. And, and you can't refute that scientifically or spiritually. You know what I'm saying? The spiritual war's been fought right over there. Mm -hmm. They're over there fighting right now. And I believe that 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 
what will bring us down will come from the motherland. This, this country and the country is weakening. I like to give, give a shout out to all the brothers out here. You know, all the niggas out here, y'all doing y'all thing down and dirty. You know what I'm saying? Man, think about the consequences. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and think about, you know, when you do get something, try to come up on that. You know what I'm saying? Don't just stay and dwell in the same hole. You know what I'm saying? And be content with that. Try to come up. Because we hold the torch of God. And with this spirit we got, these sisters can't do nothing but come for it righteously. In this life, everyone deserves to live. Everyone has a desire to live. The people who cause war have a desire to live. The people who want peace also have a desire to live. The peaceful ones have become warriors because the ones who cause war have no peace. It was just on my mind, man, because it was just like, Man, you know, shit, I'm just glad you up out that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? They, man, they ain't that nice, man. They ain't that nice. Man. Um, One of them were killed. It's just gonna make the hunt that much greater. Man. And unfortunately, it's calmed down a little bit, but unfortunately, payback is coming. And some young brother somewhere in this city, in this state, it's gonna get killed because of that. And it's gonna be retribution, and it's not gonna stop. It's gonna continue for those whose minds and hearts were with this officer. They're gonna, they're, the rest of their careers will be payback, will be payback. And a young brother who may not have ever had a mind to do anything like this is gonna receive uh, don't receive a death sentence behind it, and it's unfortunate, but it's true, because they talk about it all the time. They talk about it all the time. Make sure they never run from you again. And they use that philosophy as, as a form, of, it's, a, it's a guide to the job. And, and it's even much more so a guide, it's, it's almost an unwritten rule. Hemisphere. You didn't know that I can vacate, then disintegrate, and recreate, then form a great battalion of stallions wearing sun medallions, shining so bright that you pray and pay to see the night come, but it won't. And don't even try to rely on your satellite or tracking device, because I'll get invis-imaginable on you and have you wiping your eyes as if you saw a desert mirage. A collage is what I am. A super collective of everything you've never seen, sort of like a disease with no vaccine, growing and spreading faster than the speed of sound. Yo. Man infestation is how I get down. One of the brothers that I know that don't, there are going to be those that do. And the only reason they do it is because they want to look good in front of these white boys. They want to be one of these white boys. But yet and still in locker rooms while we're changing, they say the same thing. We need to get rid of some of these niggas on the police department. They allow blacks to kill blacks. It's another way of, of lynching. They don't have to do it. They don't have to get their hands dirty. It doesn't make them look bad in a political sense. Brothers are killing brothers because the white man's putting the poison out here. And that's the honest to God truth. They're allowing dope to get to these communities. And it's another way of them controlling black people, as they say. building prisons. Okay. They're not building prisons to keep people out, they're building prisons to keep people in. Okay. But uh, the neighborhoods that I work, 
people I've seen, they keep themselves in a prison mentally by neighborhoods and by blocks. They won't leave that block. That's the block that they segregate themselves in. For the simple fact is that's where they're comfortable at, that's where people are at. They won't leave those blocks. like a big game hunt. There's an apparition of deceit, an apparition kind of like the one my man showed me earlier. I want this to be poetic. I want this to be straight ahead. I want you to know this truth that there exists a monster within. It trusts no one. It wonders at its own ability to survive. It lies. It cries. Who was the monster? Last night my queen called me crazy. I was high at the time and trying desperately just to free my mind and reach her. I was high. I remember the first time really the collective experience of this feeling of euphoria, understanding and peace that I had never before experienced. 
but I also know of the monster. The angel and the monster. The purpose of this visual essay is to capture the high. For better understanding, we share our feelings. Basically, uh, I think Barley put it like that. He basically said, he didn't say these exact words, but he was saying, though, if you are scared of what blood gives you, then you are scared of yourself and you are scared of what life is actually showing you. Maybe when, when we smoke, we not using it the right way. All I know is, like my old dude told me, man, you smoke weed, whatever mood you're in, whatever type of person that you are, it's going to enhance that. Mm -hmm. and, if, and if you're a truly spiritual person, you smoke weed, it's going to enhance your spiritual side. If you're a lazy motherfucker, and you smoke weed, you're going to be extremely lazy after you smoke that weed. Don't want to do shit. Don't want to do nothing. Like that. found this little lady shady a baby called me to the green open up my eyes to see that the third was my inner energy speak the words to me she said so kind heard some rhythm oh so fine it's the angel aspect of the kind is it called bud love what is it made of do you love it the dookie stick all that kind of chocolate oozing from my bones i've got another motherfucking jones hit up my peeps hit me with a five maybe a twenty I like ounces to keep my shit fat, but I'm always smoking, falling off track, cause see, I'm lost, coming off the devil. Green leaf blazing, smoke rising, I've just finished giving praises, and now I'm having a conversation with the most high, and I'm asking him, how come the path for some is easier to follow? How come sometimes my soul feels hollow if I put my thoughts in the bottle and threw it out to sea? But the next man that finds it had the same concerns as me. Are we alone in the universe? Are all the other civilizations on the Milky Way's border? We'll have to find harmonic balance between the cosmic forces, chaos, and order. What was I chosen to marry a slave master's daughter? In the form of endo smoke, took another toke. Forgot my Jimmy hat, laid a little uh, blob, now I got a son. J-O-B for me, always getting high, see. Going to work, red eyes, all of a sudden, I lost a nine to five, fire, don't it hurt. Angel, sweet keeps calling me. When my soul become a ghost, the part of that which brings order throughout the cosmos. I've often wondered how many, if any, connections do I have to interstellar reflections to shine in the form of the pale moonlight and when it's time to fight. I've had the Cess, the Bess, the Maui, Powie, some even call it Gam, but I still can't understand why I can't put it down. See, I put down beef because I don't fight in the streets, nor do I eat it. Bet the dairy goes, so now most folks call me vegan. Will I strike in my physical form? Or as part of that which encompasses a rage that encourages a storm to go on for a continual 40 days and nights? I'm tired of living like a sodomite, deprived of the right to a peaceful and prosperous existence. How can a being so insignificant make a difference in the grand scheme of things? And your name is how it's saying. Is that I'm going back to the Old Testament and shit and trying to understand it, but were they smoking? Were they token? Basic instructions before leaving Earth. <laughs> Does it work? Was the burning bush some herb that they sat back and blew on and toked on? Was it oh so strong? But did that same herb make us change into the beast that we are now? Am I smoking my life away somehow? Did my grandmother call it rabbit grass and she was whipping on this black ass to make me stop? But see, I grew another crop. Hydroponics. Bionic, nigga. I'm the Matrix. Angel, devil. Any way you can take it. Red or blue. It's the pill. Swallow it. But take a toe. Look into the motherfucking stars of the cosmos. 
That's where I found commit pyramids and all types of ancient shit. But I gotta get off it one day if I'm going to transcend to the highest level I can be. The rawest form of spirituality, electromagnetic energy. I'm gonna fly away from this place, man. But first I gotta stop smoking. Is it okay if I give you some head? I don't mean to get you misled, I mean... Can I stimulate your thoughts until you have a mental orgasm and recognize the skill? Can I... Can I massage your thoughts and until you flow out creative juice. Can I watch it ooze out? I saw what it produced. Cerebral manifestations that's flavorful to the root. Past the physicality straight to your mentality. That's how I give head and that's reality actually. That's just to let you know how how I get down. Sweet, sticky thoughts from the top of your crown, like honey dripping from the cone. I'll have your mind tripping from the dome. I'll make it known that I'm in hot pursuit to climax, titillating conversation till I blow your haystack. Now tell me, how would you react to that? Do you think you can possibly have a comeback or come again with monumental verbalization, make me jaw fall in with your oralization? Fuck foreplay. Can we have some wordplay? We can start on a Thursday and end on a Thursday. 24 hours of the cycle with the complete week of the days. Run off sentences, turning. Check out my version of a quickie. First, I caress your aura and pour over you angelic impressions and protective anointments. I'd send you warm vibrations of ambient inner pulsations. I'd stimulate and generate your creative juices to blend with my wine from divine. I taste yours, you taste mine. Not bad, huh? Next, I'd kiss you up and down your mind, back and behind the undiscovered places, probing in dimensions no one else could find. I'd tease and arouse your sensitive spots to behoove you to move and kick about like wild horses, and of course this causes you to reminisce back to when ignorance was innocence. I'd insert my native tongue in your ear to let you hear words from afar as I captivate and pull you near and place my wish upon your star. Then I'd 
carefully put you in a position of subliminal submission as I penetrate, incubate, and eventually marinate in your essence and allow your presence to absorb and envelop me. We can combine energy and plant seeds to procreate. I just gave you head now. Can you reciprocate? Upside down, inside out, and out of my mind. Are you willing to be reborn? Jihad began as a spiritual pursuit. 
a pursuit of freedom. One man's aspiration to break free from the worldly constraints. It remains a spiritual pursuit. An aspiration to be one. To be one with oneself. To understand oneself. But most importantly, by this unification with the self, being one with God, the Most High. All I can do is show you what I and the rest of the brethren go through. But nobody is going to save you or help you. But God Yeah, peace. I jump state lines to quench my thirst for knowledge like lemonade on a St. Louis summer's day. I jump state lines like black girls in inner cities jump rope like convicts not trying to go to jail jump bail like schoolyard kids hop scotch. I hop from box to box and state to state and code to code, finding what this world beholds for me, interweaving time and distance, leaving my soul prints on places traveled and vibes spent in ciphers with others of my complexion. I do my best bird imitation and ride horizons to new beginnings because thoughts are broader than what surrounds me. I jump international lines, making sure I get my passport signed, expanding my connection with this place I call home and take it in, take it in for what it's worth, travel this earth, places in time, places in time, places in time. See, so when I jump, my vertical reaches 33,000 feet and my hang time could only be measured by father time with his hands of time drawing circles in the sands of time when I jump. I can be traveling without moving or cruising at speeds between zero and infinity, see, cause cruise control keeps me steady while my mind turns pages of self. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm road tripping, y'all. I'm road tripping.
Thank you.